today we're going to ask questions each other <laughs> about the stupid things, okay, just uh, off-the-cuff stuff, and he doesn't know what I'm going to ask him, and but. I don't know what you're going to ask me. So it better not be uh, <laughs> juicy. <laughs> oh, I got some juicy <laughs> questions for but no, but we have to answer our own questions too. We'll just touch on that. Oh, okay. Okay, let me start off with one question here, okay? Uh, why did you start Street Scene? You know why? Is I brought this up when I worked with you at mm -hmm. KBN years ago. Uh, the car show sh scene around here is huge, and we all know it. And it was you know, back in the 90s when it was really, really big around mm -hmm. here. And we, you know, we should have done a car show. I mentioned that to our old employer, and they didn't want anything to do with it. But when I started here at Armstrong, that was the first thing on my list. I said, we love cars. You know all about it. And I went to you. I said, you know what? You want to be a host for the show. It's like we, and, you know, that's what really started it. Just a passion mm -hmm. for the cars and the car shows and everything like that. So, and the first person I thought of was you. Well, my first year I did it, it was, mm -hmm. I didn't have Rick with me because it was so new and it's like it was kind of a last minute thing to get it together and I just shot it and did some interviews but it needed a host. Yeah, when, when you asked me, it took me a while to answer like <clears throat> maybe 10 seconds. <laughs> Not five. It was like, oh my God, I love it. This is like, they're going to pay me to do this? This is great stuff, you know. I, I just love, love being around cars, love being around just anything with cars. Love being around the people, you yeah. know, and they talk about their cars. It's their passion, and it's just a, it's a neat feeling. It's well, a real good feeling. That's something that this area was lacking, I noticed, mm -hmm. you know. I mean, there's a million things you mm -hmm. could do, a million shows. We've come up with a lot here on our Armstrong Neighborhood channel now, um, but this was, this is our main, you know, one of our main shows, mm -hmm. and uh, it's really taken off, because I remember when we started, ah, nobody's watching it, and, uh, I'm not hearing anything, and now, what's it like? Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Yeah. Real good. <laughs> when okay. do you go places yeah. and you don't see somebody that sees you? All right. Yeah, we like showcase the cars around here. There's so many beautiful cars around here that people see once in a while, but now we're getting them on TV, Armstrong Cable, and people are all over the country, all over the world are seeing these cars, really, on, yeah. on YouTube. We have this on YouTube. So it's such a neat thing for Youngstown and the surrounding areas, you know. So, yeah. And uh, it's a gr it's a great uh, deal. Great that's, deal. That's what and that's what we wanted to try to promote. But uh, let's let's really you know you ask a question. So let's let's touch on this past season just a, just for a minute. Okay. Well, the past season. Uh, I, don't, I don't even want to talk about it. Just like you said, touch on the past season. That's yeah, what we we'll touch on. It wasn't a very good season. We got uh, we started out rain, rain. It was just a rainy season, and we had a couple shows that just. Uh, but uh, I. Uh, I'm glad. <laughs> I wish we could eliminate the season. <laughs> you Not know, really completely, but uh, you know. The last 10 years, we've been saying we had a great season. We had a great season. Mm -hmm. The weather's been great. We had a few rain outs there. This sucked. This I'm going to be excited. Like, June was yeah. terrible. Yeah. This is number 11th season. Yeah. This is our 11th season. Yep. Number 10, I thought, was one of our best. We it had was. so many episodes in there, and we just and the weather was perfect, and I had so much fun. And I, I have fun doing these car shows. I get yeah. so pumped up, and after the show, I'm just like, it takes me a while to come down from these shows, yeah. you know, because I just get so pumped Some of up them doing it. it. <laughs> what you see at these shows, uh -huh. again, we can never get to everybody's car in the area because there's always new cars coming in. Uh, yeah. There's some yeah. that leave or get mm -hmm. sold or whatever, but we try. What, and we, what makes me feel bad is some of these guys that, deserve to be on there sometimes we bypass them because we get stuck with another guy or two you know and it's nothing <clears throat> personal if you're watching that because we want to feature everybody's car yes. we would love to it's just i know some people do oh why don't you talk about my car we'd love to and i try to get some of the video shots what we call b-roll b-roll um greg gets most you try get to get everything, everything i, I sure. everything i shoot mm -hmm. i put in there i yeah. mean this makes the show a little bit longer but it does get your car in there and that's mm -hmm. what that's what our focus is, to feature and showcase these incredible uh, cars and bikes and everything. Diff we like, I like to get different things, you yeah. know, different things anymore. Because before we were getting the same stuff, now, like, different things. There's a couple clubs. There's one club around the Youngstown area I really want to get in there. I invited right. them this year, and they didn't show up. And... Uh, I know. Yeah. yeah, and and I saw them at my, my Father's Day car show in, in Sharon this past year. In fact, they were called the Brothers of Power. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, I was like, whoa, these cars are very nice. They're different, mm -hmm. okay, but some of them were stock and very nice, and then some of them were 
you know, they're style cars, you know, with the bigger wheels on them. Hey, I might not like that, but I'll tell you what, they're, they're car guys. You know what else I've been getting into a lot? Just, I don't like them that much, but you gotta appreciate them. The, 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 the Mexicans, what they do to their cars. Oh, the the low riders. riders the, did you ever notice the paint jobs on those things? They're incredible. I, if you I want to stop and level, <clears throat> Doc Snyder, remember uh, the Impala he had, he mm -hmm. bought. And the, the money, the, 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 the money they put into these mm -hmm. cars and the knowledge they have to fix them. Unbelievable yeah. because the air rides and they, they drop them. They, it's, it's unbelievable. It, it, there's something to see. Yeah. And you know what? They're car guys. They're Love definitely them. car guys. That's what we like to get. We like to get more of those guys on if they yeah. come around. Yeah. But I've been noticing these guys with these paint jobs and you're just like, how the heck do they do that? You know, and it just... A I, lot of talent. I personally wouldn't do that to my car, but you just got to appreciate the talent. what they I mean, do. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it ain't, a paint job's a paint job, but, you know, it's all in the prep work. Mm -hmm. And um, some of these people, when they start airbrushing and then they clear over mm -hmm. that, uh, the airbrush work, unbelievable. It just pops out at mm -hmm. you. Well, I tell you what, okay. you asked me a question. Okay. Let's wait for this well, one. That question no. number one. <laughs> yeah, but, well, I'm going to ask you a question. We'll wrap up this segment. Okay. And, <laughs> What are your three top dream cars? Oh, my three top dream cars. Oh my God. You know what, Greg? That's a very tough one because I get, it seems like I get a new dream car all the time. Okay? There, you're, you're, you always have a dream car. You yeah. can buy your dream car and you yeah. have another one. What, you know what? I kind of like, I've been getting into a lot of the, the foreign <clears throat> cars, the exotic foreign cars, but those are out of my reach, way out of my reach. You're talking a new one, three, four hundred thousand yeah. dollars. Uh, right, you know what I want to get right now? I was looking, I'd like to get another Cougar. And believe it or not, I had that 69 I told 69 you. Cougar before that convertible, and I fell in love with it, and I sold it to get my 64 T Bird. I told you, and, why don't you just keep them both? Uh, yeah, I, no room. <laughs> yeah, I could. If I had a big garage like you, maybe. But, you know, right now I, I've been looking at uh, Cougars. Okay, yeah. and I'd like to get another convertible Cougar. Okay, and uh, th those, that's one of my dream cars. Ooh, some of my dream cars, you know, you, know, you always like the Ferraris and the Lamborghinis well, yeah. and stuff I mean, like that. It, yeah, that's pocket change for you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I, you know, I got a BMW, which is a very nice car for... Uh, 35 BMW, mm -hmm. which the hardtop convertible, that's nice. Yeah, that's, that's fun. Nice. That's fun. They're just so much fun, the foreign cars. So I've been getting into those a lot. Uh, the, uh, domestic cars, I kind of like a little bit of everything. It's just, if it's different, I like it, mm -hmm. okay? Yep. Something, you know what? <laughs> One of my, you know, one of my cars I keep looking at are the old Ramblers, believe it or well, not. Well, that was one of your first cars, yeah. was it? Or well, your first car. Yeah, it was my first. I had a 63 Rambler Classic 330. Okay, <laughs> if you're going to say, you're going to say, oh, who wants a Rambler? Huh? When is the last time you've yeah. seen a nice uh, Rambler? Yeah. That's what I said, you know. And you can get those pretty cheap, a beautiful one for probably ten, twelve thousand dollars at the moment. I would, I'd like to get a convertible this time. I'm into yeah. the convertible. <clears throat> I've had five convertibles already. Yeah. So convertible's yeah. my bag, and yeah, the old Ramblers are good, something like that. But uh, anymore, I'd like to get something newer and more uh, realistic. You know, because so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm finding out on my old T-Bird, I got that '64 Bird, and I'm having a hard time finding people to work on it. Okay, all the older guys are dying off. And, well, uh, <clears throat> the younger generation—that's another thing to discuss at some point—is. Mm -hmm. They're used to plug and play, plug a computer in, but they can't troubleshoot. You know, mm -hmm. like, oh, why isn't this getting fuel up to the carburetor? Well, why is the fuel not going through the, it, you know, the, the old school way of fixing a car on these old cars is going away. And it's hard to find somebody with that kind of knowledge of troubleshooting, you know, the mm -hmm. old school stuff. And that's, that's a real problem anymore. You know, I really like, I like to get a retro mod right now. Oh, okay. So nice. <clears throat> you got the old style look, and you yeah. got you can drive that thing from here to California with no problem. That's what I I have been getting into those a lot. Uh, and you lately. got the air conditioning. You, you got, got all everything. the comforts, the power seats, the power windows, everything yeah. that you disc need. brakes. Yeah, yeah everything. everything. Yeah, and you got that old style look to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like a like a thirties Ford or something like something. that. With the, you know, put a nice yeah. little LS engine in yeah. it, and uh, just those are nice. I that's. Well, I'm going to answer my own question <clears> too. <throat> 
for my whole life, I've wanted a 67 Chevelle Super Sport. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted one. I like the 67s because I like the front and rear ends a little better than the 66. 69, I like them, but mm -hmm. I didn't like when they changed the body style. That is my dream car. And of all things, I like the oddball stuff. I want a 68 through 70 Javelin. Oh, Javelin, yeah. I love them. Mm -hmm. And I, well, there's a long story, and I will uh -huh. not bore you with that of why I like that car, but it's but that's a, that's a friends nice to car. my childhood, yeah. and I want to I want to build a rat rod. Uh -huh. I have built a lot of cars, and I've probably kept them all, but I want to build a rat rod. I'd love to have a rat rod. But your problem there. is you're running out of room in your garage. I don't have room. <laughs> my car's sitting outside. My garage mm -hmm. has got eight cars in it, and mm -hmm. my lower attached garage got three, and... I don't have any room, but mm -hmm. you know, that's one for when the kids move out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we're gonna shut up and we're gonna let you enjoy this segment and of street scene. Watch and enjoy.